Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin PF and on today's episode we're going back over to Ireland and we're checking out a brand new release from the Dingle Distillery. Now these guys have been making whiskey since the end of 2012, so they've had a good few whiskies out now. They've all been kind of small batch releases of uh, varying different cast types and whatnot. This is their first core release and they're just calling it the Dingle Single Malt, which I think is pretty cool. Obviously this is an Irish whiskey, so we're talking triple distilled. Um, one of the other cool things about Dingle that's worth noting is uh, in 2019 they took on as a new master distiller is Graham Cool, who of course is uh, used to be the master distiller for Glen Murray up in Scotland. So that's pretty cool, you know, he makes some good whiskey and now he's over with them, hopefully making more good whiskey. But I think that's an uh, interesting thing we'll check out in this one and in, of course, future releases. A bit more about this whiskey itself, as I said earlier, this is kind of like their new core release whiskey, so this should be fairly available worldwide. At the moment, it's only really available on their website, which is fine, because especially in the UK, they've got a UK distributor, so you don't have to worry about any kind of Brexit things or them being part of the EU and us not being part of the EU. Uh, I also believe they've got a USA contingent out there so you should be able to get this from their website but it will you know avoid kind of shipping and whatnot don't know that for sure but if you are in the states and you're interested in this make sure you go and check out their website and get some more information about that uh, it's 46.3 percent it is natural colored and non-chill filtered although it just says non-chill filtered on the bottles uh, and on the box but um what well, a friend of mine uh, james palmer has been in touch with graham cool directly and he's confirmed it is natural color which is pretty cool i like that uh, just not really sure why it isn't on the box. You know, it's just one of those things. If it goes to the effort of putting non-chill filtered, why not stick natural color on there as well? It can only help, I think. But besides the point, generally speaking, on this channel, I don't really care about coloring anyway, as long as the whiskey is good. So I said the ABV, 46.3%. That's a good ABV. We like that. And it comes in at about roughly 50 pounds. I think it's just shy of 50 quid on their website for kind of UK people. Not sure what it goes worldwide but we'll get into the kind of value of that a little bit later the other thing to note about this is um, sort of although we you know Irish whiskey does do all different kind of cast types of course uh, this one is aged in ex bourbon barrels and px casks which is pretty cool I think the split is something like 39 to 61 bourbon and px respectively so that's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not typically a fan of um, sherry whiskies, but when I am a fan of sherry whiskies is when it's PX is involved. Oloroso tends to be the one that I don't like so much. It's something I'm finding out as I go along, besides the point. Um, again, this is a, a no age statement whiskey, but we can make some rash assumptions about the different ages that are in this. This isn't kind of single cask or anything like that, but obviously they've been around making whiskey since uh, December 2012. So we're talking roughly eight and a half years at time of recording. So it's, you know, they're going to be mixture of ages somewhere in between that three years and a day and that eight and a half years. It's going to be something like that. I don't know exactly, but again, age doesn't tend to bother me on this channel. If the whiskey is good, the value is there, it could have three on it for all I care. And some companies out there have done that in the past to make a point, but besides the point. That's enough waffling about the uh, the kind of stuff around it in the bottle. Let's get into the actual whiskey and see what we've got. Hiding under coin number 116, which is available on nononsensewhiskey.com if you're interested in checking that out. So, looking at the colour, which we can talk about because we know it's natural coloured, is a lovely kind of light coppery colour. Um, I imagine a, a, a large portion of that has come from the PX. I don't know about the bourbon barrel. All I know is that it's bourbon barrels. I don't know if that's kind of first fill or refills or whatnot. Again, I'm not really too sure. It's just good information to relay. Let's get onto the nose and see what we've got. Mmm. It's got a really robust nose. It's bags of like apples and pears. Some deep honeys in there as well. And some raisins as well, which is cool. I like that. It isn't kind of like overly heavy on the sherry notes. Like we usually talk about like raisins and sometimes we talk about like sultanas and things like that. It isn't kind of overly heavy with that kind of Christmas cakey vibe that you sometimes get from sherry aged whiskies. Let's get onto the palette and see what we've got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for me, it's one of those whiskies where the palate translates quite neat neatly from the nose. More of those apples and pears, honeys. But for me, it transitions fairly quickly from those juicy fruits over into a kind of cinnamon spice-led thing. It's 
it, I mean, it's a it's a crude tasting note, but it is very much apple pie kind of vibes coming from it. It's apple kind of crumble, that kind of butteriness, that biscuitiness coming from it as well. Something I really enjoy on a whiskey. Mm, let's have another sip. Really tasty. Finishes fairly long, actually, kind of medium long in length. Very spicy and towards the back end, almost a kind of mentally note coming out of it, which is really interesting. Really good whiskey, really good whiskey. So as I mentioned earlier, I mentioned the price. Something I like to do at the end of videos is talk about the value of these things. Yeah, it, it is an expensive whiskey and I, I talk about this a lot. So if this is the first time you're watching these videos, uh, I, I'll say the same thing as I normally say with these sorts of things. Um, when I'm coming at it, 50 quid is a lot of money depending on your on your viewpoint. But where this fits in the whiskey market is they're at like a brand new distillery putting out their first core release. They're a, a smaller distillery than some of the other guys in, uh, in in Ireland for sure. There are a lot of smaller distilleries popping up, but um, Irish whiskey is kind of ran by the three main big distilleries. And that then these guys are kind of like, they call themselves artisan. It's not a word I tend to use very often, but it's that artisan crafty whiskey kind of thing. It's all done by hand. They'll have to pick expensive casks to make things that taste this good so young. So it's not a cheap process, that's the point I'm making. So when you have a new whiskey that's brand new to the market from a brand new distillery, the price point tends to be around that £50 mark. So it's priced comparatively with all the other distilleries that are putting out whiskey right now. And yet this is a good whiskey as well. So I think if you're into your Irish whiskey, or even if you're not to be fair, but especially if you're into your Irish whiskey and you want to support something that's a little bit different than the big boys, you want to support a new up and coming distillery that is producing quality stuff, then yes, it is worth it, absolutely. And I would grab a hold of it while you can. I'm not sure what their release schedule is going to be like. I'm not sure if this is kind of small batch release or if this is kind of an ongoing thing, but it, it might sell out, it might not. But yeah, if all of those things in this video have been of interest to you even slightly, I would implore you to go and get it because it is a good whiskey and definitely worth checking out. The Dingle Distillery today, no, I don't like it. Start again. Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey.